uh, for this one. Does the existence and uniqueness theorem guarantee a unique solution to the following initial value problem on some interval? Explain. So, first we're going to have to rewrite the different equation. Yeah? 1 over 1 squared. So, so F is minus x squared plus 1 over 1 squared. And df over dy is minus 2 over y cube. Is it not? Are these continuous at 0, 0? So basically our x0 zero equals 0 and y0 zero equals 0, right? What does the theorem say? It says f and partial f partial y have to be continuous on a region that contains the point. But you can see that 0 is a problem. on F and on its derivative. Yeah? So these two are not continuous at zero. Right. Therefore, not guarantee a unique solution to the following initial value problem on an interval. Right. Make sense? So that's the idea. Okay, how about let's go to part C. So here we have dy over dx is y plus 1 over 1 minus x and the initial condition is y of 1 equals 0, right? So f is y plus 1 over 1 minus x, and df over dy is just the partial derivative with respect to y, which is 1. Is this continuous? So our initial point is x of 0 equals 1, and y of 0 equals 0. Is f continuous there? No. Because, you know, uh, 1 would blow this off. So f is not continuous at x yeah, equals that's 1. An that's an asymptote. Yeah. Uh, therefore, no existence and uniqueness theorem, because we didn't satisfy the condition does not guarantee a unique solution at the initial given value problem at the point 
let's just be concise at the point one comma zero. It does not guarantee that because it violates the theorem. Right. And yes, x equals one is an asymptote in that case. Questions? Okay, good.